Hello, and welcome back to some Aliens Dark Descent. Uh, we had a terrible time last time. Uh, lots of sneaking by aliens that then had patrols that then had bigger aliens to deal with. And uh, almost a team wipe. Uh, bringing us down to like one Marine left, and I decided the heck with it. We're just going to count that as a team wipe and reload it, expecting just to get uh, like a couple guys back, but I got the full team back, and so uh, we just kind of spent the rest of last episode setting up for this episode, hoping that if we cleared the room of the sleeping guys, that they won't be there when we come back today. So, first we need to finish out our day. Uh, we have some uh, people we need to heal. Have a nice day, Deputy Administrator Hayes. Uh, I have five doctors. So, what can I do to maximize the troops I get back? Uh, I want the hacker back for sure. Actually, do I have multiple hackers? I do, but my other hackers in therapy. I mean, I could pull them out of therapy. How long is he going to be in therapy for? Bye, man. Troops, Eddie. Oh, one day. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll get that person back. And we'll use them tomorrow because there's a, if I remember correctly, there's a door that we can hack in case the sleeping Xenos are back uh, to kind of bypass them. Um, so let's just try and get, uh, we can probably do some two day people. Although they're tired, maybe them having the days off would be good. Uh, maybe we can try and like bring, just like knock a couple days off of these guys. What do we got? Do I have enough? One, two. We have three from the guy that's in therapy. Mensana incorpore sano. Am I right? So we need at least one person to come back tomorrow all these guys are tired because i've been using them like crazy so what if i take four days off this guy and then one day off this guy and let the other guys kind of rest this one's a priority understood We'll take a day off this guy. This one's a priority. Understood. Because if I'm going to get a level 2 guy or a level 3 guy, give me the level 3 guy, right? Um, anything else that we can do? Yeah, feel the Marines, too. Um, anything that we want to buy or build? Not yet. Bye -bye All right, now. so we'll just Hello, end the day. Hayes. New objectives are awaiting your review. Oh, okay. Med base supply shortage. Physicians are asking for materials to perform their task properly. Uh, we can grant supplies. We have we have a surplus again. Let's um. It's only 50. I want to keep that med bay running as smoothly as possible because I'm going to be constantly feeding it with patients. Oh, I have two promotable Marines. Um, oh, yeah. My medic. This one won't let you down. 
promo. Bravo Zulu. What's Team Spirit do? Increase command points. Oh, but I have to have two people with that. Um, or I can do level two. Uh, I like my medic being able to get more loot. Armor points is also also good. Yeah, we'll do that one. I think I need to be a little more defensive. With pouches. Oh, 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 yeah. This would be great. Um, do it. Uh, what's what's the next one? Morphine. Oh, that's cool. And what's this one? That's honestly kind of nice too. Uh, but we'll we'll just do the one that we did for now, and then we'll go take a look at the next person. What did Kowski. I teach you, Marie? Salute. Uh, you're a rookie. Stand tall, Marine. You look like someone that needs more armor. So we'll give you more armor. Uh, interesting tattoo. That's cool. Um, oh, and a scar. Nice. Good for him. It's probably not nice or good for him, but... Oh, he's got poor health. Yeah, I'm glad I gave him more armor then. He's got poor health. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I think we can launch the mission... Can, we should be able to deploy. Operations ready in the following areas. Near the elevator. Understood. Uploading mission data. Yeah, so we can we can deploy here. Which will let us go. Not gonna let me go look at the other floors because we gotta go down to the basement, and this is the elevator to the basement. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's get that guy that's going to consume all of our medical supplies. But we got ourselves a hacker, a guy who's really dramatic with his cape, apparently. <laughs> I think that was the same guy that had his cape like, coming through his chest before, but now he's just like trying to wear it over his shoulder. It's amazing. Uh... And our cowardly medic. Our bad luck sniper. And our punchy hacker. Uh, what a... What a crew. <laughs> Alright, so let's bring a couple of these. Bring a couple of these. Honestly, I could probably bring three of these. Uh, and I have two of those to bring. Um, we are heading into Xeno territory. I want that. And I think I want that. We're gonna, we're gonna get a little greedy because we got some samples. Uh, and we're gonna... I don't care about this one. The stasis grenade. Eh, it's fine. I'd rather just blow them up. 
All right, let's let's go. Let's see if we can get to the objective. So we should be able to get this way really quick. Affirmative. Let's see what's inside. Let's grab that real quick because we'll need it. All right, get on that elevator. Let's see how the situation is. Basement. This is where I need to go. Move on. More med kits. Affirmative. Let's see what's inside. So what we got? We got a, a Xeno covering all those supplies. I might be able to come here and then hack. But it does look like the sleeping ones are gone. So you just have to deal with the patrol. Don't get too comfy, okay? I feel like it's doable. Safe position taken. Nice. Is this one just going to kind of come back and forth? Because if they're just going to come back and forth, I'll wait for them to turn around and then we'll hit this. Get too comfy, okay? Basically, want to find out what the come down here pattern is. On my way, hacking terminal now. That's where my objective is. Safe position taken. All right, Move coming on. back. Oh, I don't like that. This is all creep. Hey, I found something. Looks like a data pad. Right now. Let's see what's inside. Uh, open. From Whelan Utani Lieutenant Alice Sanchez to Sergeant Hector Stone. Still no word from Pharaoh Spire, so I guess it's up to us to keep those creepy fuckers out of here. Up the patrols and weld all the doors on the main access level apart from the emergency access ramp. It's a natural bottleneck, so we'll cover it with sentry guns. 
those insurgents come crawling in that way, we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Keep an eye on the grunts, would you? When the time comes, we need to be sure everyone holds their place on the line. I don't much care for taking a bullet in the back because someone's bought into the bullshit these weirdos are selling. I hope Price keeps her word. Did we not read that one? It said it was new. It's payback time. Prefect Vaslu says we've got a bunch of whaling Utani mercs ready to goose step all over our turf, just like they did with the Colonial Marines back in 77. Only this ain't 77. This time we've got the upper hand, and we're the ones setting the trap. Those corporate tools won't know what hit them, and you know what? That's fine by me. I lost a lot of good friends at Berkeley's docks. I just hope Marlow doesn't let those creatures have his... <laughs> creatures of his have all the fun. Okay, so we did read that one. I remember that one. away from the door. Oh, we'll open that one. Let's see what's inside. We got some supplies. And we're kind of taking a shortcut towards our objective. I'm sure there's some stuff that we could get up there, but honestly, Affirmative. let's just, let's just get in and out. Access granted. Come on, team. Oh, I could blow that up. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, we'll leave that alone for now. Sorry, I have five out of five. stuff in here. This seems like a really big room. It is a big room. Alright, so we got some supplies up there. There's some supplies on, down here. Hopefully no... I don't know. That's a hole. On my way. Let's see what's inside. Make our way up. Safe position take. Don't need med kits. I don't, I don't like the sight of those tunnels. Make sure you have enough resources to welcome these critters. Roger. Let's see what's inside. Probably gonna want to set up some turrets before we do whatever that is. Safe position taken. Right now. Let's see what's inside. Oh yeah, they're all like. See no holes. Let's see what's inside. Um, let's do that. Let's do that. Sentry almost ready. Sentry activated. Do that. 
since we got like a couple areas where they're gonna be coming from and then we can kind of sentry almost ready go from there really probably want to set them back here but oh well I guess I could have turned that off and made that go faster. I'm gonna check this corner down here real quick, see if there's any supplies before we go up and get the objective. Honestly, maybe putting the turret like right there would have been better, but oh well. Stay frosty, <gasps> All right, let's trigger whatever this thing is. Recover data pad. Yeah, yeah, you did. Here we go. Instruction Omega-13, authored by Prefect Vaslu. It pleases me to report that Illuminary Marlow is satisfied with your work. By the tip of the pickaxe and the length of the train tracks, you, brothers and sisters, have made it possible. Your actions ensured that the Lethe Leith? Leith? would be born again. The eggs of the Ascended, once hidden in the depths of these caves, are now free to spread across the moon. Further instructions will follow. For now, be proud of your dedication to the cause. A new era is upon us. Yay! Fuck! These containers are empty. We're too late. Incoming critters, a shed load of them! Requesting fire support! Guys, I can't even see you! The ARC will have to do. Back to the elevator, Marines. I'll come and cover you. Oh, shit. Okay. They're heading our way. Come on, team. Safe position taken. More signals incoming. So they're in the fence. Double time. They're heading our way. Oh, I just wasted all those turrets. Oh well. Better safe than sorry. That was definitely a like. They're heading our way. They're gonna murder you. Room. Oh, don't go out that way. They're Actually, that might be way. okay. It doesn't look like the Xeno's coming. Yeah. Safe position taken. Come on, team. Move, move. Bring the arc to the basement. Wait. I am a dummy. They're heading our way. I am the biggest dummy. Back we go. Move on. Giant dummy, that is me. I misunderstood the orders. So I went a stupid way when I was supposed to hit a button where I was. Hurry up, you slug. Uh, don't run, running makes lots of noise. More signals incoming. That's where they want us to be. We can set up 
Defensively. They're heading our way. So I didn't waste those turrets. Yet. Safe position taken. More signals incoming. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, th that's kind of what we did last time. So this is this is it. We're Roger. we're doing it. All right, let's see what's in there. It's a trap. All right, we are detected, so we might as well. Command points to do shotguns. This is terrible. Give me that back. I really need to be able to do a shotgun. Uh, we need to go back this way. Good jukes, good jukes. the other two behind. Oh no, those are fire on him. Oh shoot, uh, that. No, we lost a Marine.
everybody no time to die. Oh shit. That structure. Sarge, I'm sorry, it didn't work. Oh shit. Now get out of here before they take you down. Hayes, I have to tell you. Later, Sergeant. I'm trying something. Ho hold on. Martinez, give me a hand. I was in the middle of shit. This is a terrible time for a cinematic, guys. More. Everything you've got. I'm launching it in 30 seconds. Hayes? What are you doing? Hayes! Hunza, keep your distance. I have one satellite turned bomb coming in hot. Wait a minute. A bomb? That's our way off, Marines. Move out! There were so many samples. That's all I can think about is like the loot. Squad survive. Oh my goodness. There was so much loot. Oh, we got the coma guy back. Oh, thank goodness. We only lost our hacker. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get the dog tags. There was so much supplies. Not bad, Hayes, for a corporate drone. Not that I ain't grateful, but why'd you do it? Your satellite just went up in smoke. In the company, there's a protocol for everything. Until there isn't. Ever since Pioneer Station, I've been drowning. The big picture gave me something to hang on to, but at the end of the day, the big picture is just... people. Speaking of which, any news from Pharaoh Spire? I sent Hunslet over to the capital to perform recon. The anti-air defenses of Jackson's Landing are still active. They took offense at her transponder codes and nearly shut her up for good. It doesn't tell us much. The Spire is a state-of-the-art building. They'll be automated. True enough. So, for now, we keep on keeping on. Maybe this Marlow we ran into... I did into. a bit of digging. He's a Wayland yutani bioengineer. No one's heard from him for years. Well, they have now. So what do you want to do, Administrator? We better work together. All right. Then start with what happened back there. Hey, it's really... Listen, Harper. When you get crazy like that... You put every single one of us at risk. We need to know what happened. If it was that special feeling of it yours. It wasn't. I snapped, okay? I heard a name and I snapped. What are you talking about? Cassandra. That's the name I heard. That's the name of my daughter. You have a daughter? Here on Lethe? Don't you think that was worth mentioning? She hates my guts, all right? I wasn't around much when she was little. We haven't spoken since her mother's funeral. Becca just rotted from the inside out. Folk do that here. It's the main reason I joined up way back then. I had to get out, you know? Is this working? Yes, good. Administrator Hayes and Sergeant Harper to the lab. If you would. Hold that thought, Sergeant. We're not done here. Well, that went really quick. I I didn't expect to be so soon. So we'll we'll keep going for a bit because it's only been about a half hour. Um, let's see what they want. Ah, thank you.
Thank you both for coming. Out with it, Doctor. There's a lot going on. More than you know. I've been analyzing your recent encounters with the Darwin era, cross-referencing with survivor reports, and, well, I, I won't bore you with the details. And yet you are. Easy, Sergeant. Doctor, what have you found? In short, they have found a way to walk among these critters, as you put it. Some cultists seem to carry a preliminary step of the specimen in some sort of device here, right between their lungs. This allows them to move around older creatures while your marines are systematically attacked. Fascinating, isn't it? Just what we needed. More good news. What can we do? At the moment, uh, nothing, I think. Unless you've revised your policy regarding live specimens, Administrator. She didn't, and she's right. No creatures allowed. End of discussion, Doc. All right. This just gets better and better, doesn't it? All the more reason to save everyone we can, like you said. Or are you only here for your daughter? Cassandra's part of it, maybe even the largest part, but it's not the whole. Wouldn't want you thinking I'm a hypocrite now. How old is she? She'd be 17 now, if she's even alive. You've seen these psychos. They're experimenting on people, on their genes, and they gave my daughter's name to their pet project. That can't be a good sign. What would they be after? I'm not sure. I've been having... flashes. I guess you'd call them visions. Nothing I can really explain, but sometimes it's like I can... feel what those creatures are thinking. Well... I guess these maniacs would find that useful. I know, right? If Cass and I share this ability, maybe they're looking for her. Or worse, she joined them willingly. I don't believe it. I mean, she's your daughter. She's probably just as stubborn as a USCM sergeant. But what if they did something to her? What if she's changed and I don't recognize her anymore? Would she even recognize me? It's okay. We'll find her. You got this, Jonas. It's been years since anyone called me that. Hudson to Otago. Otago, do you Shit. copy? What now? Hunslet was circling around the ship when she picked up movement. Looks like recon paid off. The bad news is, those creatures are really interested in us. If we let even one of them get on board the Otago, this is over. Agreed. Looks like it's time to kick ass. No available Marines. <laughs> Let's see what we can do to fix that. Uh, got a lot of one days. I know you're tired. But I need a couple. Of high tiered guys. So guess what? This one's a priority. Understood. We're just going down that line. This one's a priority. Understood. And then let's get one of you guys even closer. Yep, everyone's tired. A day must pass before new deployment is... Okay, okay, okay. So it's still going to do that to me. All right, that's fine. Um, next day. New objectives are awaiting your review. Ooh, ooh, yes. Uh, as the Otago is getting encircled, the Xenomorphs, a group of people manage to sneak by them and reach a the ship. They identify as USCM Rescue for Marines. Right on time. 
Thank you. Awesome guy. Is that already for some promotions? Did I teach you, Marine? Salute. Stand tall, Marine. A gunner? Sounds great. I could use more smart gun people. What's smart ass do? Oh, it lets me hack. The whole squad move faster. He's a running and gunning type of guy. Um, primary weapon, smart gun. Secondary weapon, revolver. Jump to the next guy. Actually, come back to him. Because I have some, some bits. I don't really care about the sentry. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. Uh, we'll do the advanced tracking system. Alright. Now let's promote this guy. Recon or medic? Man, I feel like I need more medics. Uh, the ability to bring guys back from a coma sounds great. And they can't get tired. Let's 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 just do that. Um, upgrades. Reanimator kit, please. Like everything else is great, but and increase their health. I just feel like that's just necessary. And we have some four new level one people. This one won't let you down. It's got a bad attitude, a heavy heart. Ooh. Stubborn. Okay. And a bully. Oh, great. Oh, so keep this guy level one. And then, like, he can't bully anyone. <laughs> It's not gonna work, but all right. We have we cannot pass the day. We must repel the xenomorph attack. So let's launch mission. Should I try and like heal people first? I don't know what this is gonna look like. So maybe this one's a priority. Understood. Just kind of one, two, you're tired, you're tired, you're not tired. And you're also level two, so this one's a priority. come on back. Understood. Hello, Administrator Hayes. Hello. Let's do it. Out in the wasteland. Set a defensive perimeter and contain the infestation. One data pad, four objectives, 70 materials. Understood. I don't know what this mission is going to look like, so I don't really feel the need to um, to go exploring. 
feel like this is just gonna be like place a mine here and I don't like in the middle of combat that feels just like too late This does feel like a good mission to be bringing, like, our top men for. Um, and we need these in order to do things, to, like, repair these guys. And we're definitely going to want that. I don't know that I'm going to need that. This actually might be a good idea. Just bring as many as I can. I don't know how much I'm going to be like finding loot around the area. So let's just make a bunch. We'll just fill up. Okay, warning. A large swarm of xenomorphs is closing on the Otago. The urgency of the situation requires your squad to perform all the objectives in a single deployment. Be well prepared. Ensure that your marines are at the best of their capacities and bring enough supplies to support them during the mission. Our lives are in your hands. Good luck, marines. Yeah, okay. So that, that felt like the smart thing to do there. Um... Here we go. He's coming to us, so let's give him a good old-fashioned USCM greeting. Numbers are unknown, so we take no a shot to the face. We hit him with whatever we've got. You know the drill: set a defensive perimeter and keep him off the Otago. Hope we sent other guys like to other locations. Oh, there is some loot. Okay, well that's good. We're gonna need some of that. Points in the terrain. Let's use them. I like the way you think, Hayes. After all, the only thing they seem to respect is firepower. Wow, what do we have here? Wow, what do we have here? Say hello to the P5000 power loader. Let's get someone strapped in and we'll take it for a spin. Pick up one of those heavy turrets on your way, Marines. Okay, so. On Cover data pad. Bam, hey, bam. Like a data pad. Pick up some ammo. Let's read this data pad. From Sean Martin to Katie Liu. Hey, Kate. Here you go. The camp is settled for your team. But don't kid yourself. We won't find much around here. You start to walk for hours in this in this these rocks. That's weird. And soon enough, they all look the same. I hope you'll have better luck than us. If not. Don't forget to enjoy the barbecue Mitchell left for you. Oh, and watch your weather scanners, okay? You don't want to get caught into one of those storms. Talk to you soon. None of them were ever Let's heard from inside. again. All right. The Marine enters the power loader. All right, let's give it a go. Pick up the first you heavy it, turret. Come on, team. There's something around. Bring them down.
Okay. Yeah, we'll come back for that. Dropship Barrage Fire opens skill menu by hitting space. Select Dropship Barrage Fire and skill menu. Uh, Dropship Barrage Fire orders the Cheyenne to fire multiple missiles at a specific area. Doing so costs one command point. From now on, the Dropship Barrage Fire skill will be available to use outside. Order a Dropship Barrage Fire in the designated area. Okay. That sounds great. Uh, meanwhile, come on, team. You like that, huh? Come on, get that turret going. Sentry activated. That's on a power it. loader. All right, let's give it a first turret online. Cover your ears, guys. Now that's There's some loot over about. here. Good work, Marines, but don't get caught. Grab there yeah, yet. They look intact to me. Light them up. Come on, team. Oh, yep. Yeah. Just want to keep coverage on the power loader person. So we're gonna go on that way. Nice that it's picking up all those like spawn points over there. Right now. Let's see what's inside. There's 
There's something around. Light him up! Take him down! Reloading! Kill it! Kill it! Come on. Give it a shot. There we go. Come on, team. There's nothing to weld for us to reduce stress, so it's just going to be using meds. Pick up the pace, Marines. Get that turret operational. On it. Got something on a track. Light him up. Oh, I can do the thing, right? Oh, wow, they are way too fast for that. All right. There we go. I'm just gonna do that on. So I don't Move need on. that. Hurry up, squad. Hustle. How are we doing? Anyone need health? Uh, more about stress. Pop it. Pop it. Inside. Pop it. Deploying motion tracker. Okay. We've got two of these M314 autonomous long range motion trackers. We get them set up, they'll give us the warning we need. I'm marking the most efficient deployment locations. Outstanding. Let's get this done, Marines. Alright, let's move on. Move, move. Do this one first. So we'll be able to thing in the shit. Just get those trackers in place, then you can come back where it's warm. Gee, Sarge, you're just a big old softy. We'll pick up some supplies here on our way. Uh, all right, so we need to go around this way. There's something around. 
Move on. Let's rock. All right, it's wrenches. some meds. Oh, hey, more supplies that we can use to get on our way over there, which sounds Charger like the set. way to go. Alright, we're going to come up here. here. And we're going to pick up some of these supplies. pick up the ammo. Actually, pop a pill right and now. grab both. Let's see what's inside. Tango, straight ahead. Let's rock. go and we need to go that way come on team let's see what's inside I keep two with guns ready copy let's see what's inside Some more wrenches. So that's the path. Got something on the Let's rock. Here, don't mess with me. Roger. Move on. Let's see what's inside. Got something on a track. Zeno in approach. Shit, I'm out. Bring him down. Shit, I'm out. Take him down. Let's see what's inside. Move on. Hurry up, squad. Let's see what's inside. Second tracker online. Link to the turret. You're good to go. All right, Marine. Fall back to the Otago. Wait. Receiving lots of signals from the motion trackers. Converging on your position. Where? There's no bugs around here. They're getting closer. Your men carry, or they might get surprised. Done. 
Thanks for the heads up. Marines. It's way Time to take over there. Your All right. Get ready to unleash hell when you see the flare. Roger that. Let's rock. Move on. Oh yeah, don't miss me. More signals incoming. This is the way back. Get over here to get some coverage, and then we're gonna band aid ourselves. You Copy. need first aid. Stay still. Gonna patch you up. There, like it didn't okay. Happen. So we need to get over there, which is that way. More signals incoming. Move on. Uh, oh, okay. I need to barrage fire that. We just have the one more left uh, for this objective. We can run over here. So this one is there. This path up here. Got something on a track. Yeah, we do. Move on. Bring him down. Check your vitals. Reload. We're gonna need more ammo soon. That's probably what's up there. Let's hurry up, you slugs. Run. Oh, might be ammo there Got too. Oh, I don't like that. Break down. You like that huh? Reloading. Check your vital squad. Focus fire and target. Nothing. Okay. Get going. On my way. Come on, team. Because once I can Let's see, see it, inside. I can order the barrage. There's something around. They're headed our way. Check your vitals. Better. Get it! Get it! It's a pro. Watch out! Changing match. Ah, it burns! It burns! Do this yet? Yeah. Hurry! 
ships fly. There's something around. Come on, team. I guess I didn't need to heal that one dude, but you know, felt good doing it. First hundred percent. It's nice. Promotions for everyone. Yeah, that seems like a sergeant thing to have. Retribution. <laughs> and our Tekker. Yeah. Extra tough. And our Gunner. Yes. Oh, dang. And again. She went up two levels this mission. It's amazing. It was bold to give her bravery. Or Avenger level two. No, she's, she's now bold. She went up two levels in one mission. She's bold. And our medic. Make the whole squad move faster. I like that idea. Go web! Damn! That's awesome. I didn't use any of my turrets, but that's all right. That was a fun mission. That's twice now you've saved our asses. Starting to make me look bad. Don't go reading too much into it, Harper. Turns out blowing stuff up's cathartic. Better than booze, and that's the truth. On the subject of truth, how are you handling your flashes? Well, the sensation's overwhelming when it kicks in, and painful as hell. Makes me a liability in the field. So, what do we do? From here on out, I'll stick to running oversight from the ARC. It's best I don't get in the way. Perhaps you should speak to Bookard, Kabiri, or Becker. Doc Buzzkill? Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe Bookard if it gets worse. Pharos Spire to USS Otago. USS Otago, do you receive? That's Director Price. I don't believe it. They're still alive. Just what we needed. More suits and ties. Director Price, this is Deputy Administrator Michael Hayes of Pioneer Station. Oh. My report suggests that all hands were lost during the recent unpleasantness. Unpleasantness? Pioneer was overrun I by... I don't believe we've been introduced. Sergeant Harper, USCM. Indeed. We've had some trouble here ourselves, Administrator. With these creatures swarming around, we've had to put Pharaoh's Spire on lockdown. But my commandos finally managed to restore the SATCOM relay of Jackson's landing. This is a terrible time for everyone, but I'm gratified to see that the Wayland yutani quarantine protocols are working. I authorize them, Director. 
I didn't see any other choice. We've been trying to contain the outbreak ever since. And now you've commandeered a USCM vessel and its crew. You're proving much more resourceful than your psych profile suggests. You did the right thing, Maiko. Unfortunately, it seems that our superiors don't share your, uh, work ethic. Meaning? Three hours and 55 minutes ago, the Cerberus Protocol began a countdown to its phase two. Phase two? Nuclear sterilization. Nuclear sterilization? As in of the planet? This planet we're all stranded on. I'm afraid Wayland yutani leaves no room for mistakes, Sergeant. This phase two came as a surprise, even for me. I'd find another job. I will consider it, Sergeant. But we're not out of options yet. The sterilization satellites are coming online. There's still time to deactivate the system through Pioneer Station. In fact, I already sent a team there, but I've lost contact with them. <sighs> I see. But with the help of your men, Sergeant, Maiko's knowledge of the station and my level of clearance, we have a chance. I'm asking you to trust me. Then I guess we better get a team up there ASAP, Director. Good. Should you require any further assistance, I'll be on comms. Man. Uh... <laughs> Just keeps getting worse. So, that's cool. Hopefully... We'll be able to link up with them and get some like additional resources. Uh, I have a feeling that since our our base is is the ship, that um, we're probably going to not keep the capital like it's going to get overrun at some point, right? Uh, or some like sub faction of the company is going to overtake it or, or something like that um or or that lady isn't what she appears and is actually like backing the whole cult who knows like when when you're when you're in this situation it's really easy to be like all right who's who's are you actually on my side are you going to be like we need to start getting live specimens for research and science and profit um oh all right so i think we're gonna stop here uh that was a good a good end of the last mission and 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 this mission like this was a good end of this mission i didn't i ended a mission without losing a marine and all it took was it to be a, a defensive combat mission and not a sneaky sneak mission um Although I'm sure if they had sent like a queen or a Praetorian or something at us in that, like uh, we would have been screwed. Uh, the fact that it was all like runners and drones uh, was probably advantageous. I can I can handle those, I guess. Uh, um, oh, I can purchase weapons in the workshop. Well, we will look into that next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.